hello friends here we are talking about NSAIDs that is non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs uh, what are NSAIDs basically it may be defined as these are the drugs which are not steroids but can cure or prevent inflammations and thus they are known as non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs so some common examples that you must have found it out that penicillin colchicine allopurinol etc these are the drugs also called as non narcotic or non opioid or aspirin like analgesics here is the various classifications of these drugs that is non selective uh, cox inhibitors preferential cox 2 inhibitors selective cox 2 inhibitors analgesic antipyretic or poor anti inflammatory actions the next thing is about what is the mechanism of action of NSAIDs. When while talking about mechanism of action of NSAIDs, the major mechanism of action of NSAIDs is blocking of prostaglandins generations. What is the actual mechanism of uh, prostaglandins is that when an injury occurs, when there is an injury that occurs. The lipids and phospholipids of this uh, cells of that particular body part where the injury has been occurred is converted into arachidonic acid. This arachidonic acid is further converted into prostaglandins S2 in the presence of cyclooxygenase first and in some cases of trauma, stress, etc. in the presence of cyclooxygenase second. This prostaglandin S2 is further converted into prostaglandin E2 and prostaglandin F2. This prostaglandin E2 or F2 binds with the specific prostaglandin receptors. After binding, there should be depolarization of the first order neuron and there is a generation of action potential which results in a stimulation of the first order neuron. This first order neuron that, that uh, transfers the uh, response to the spinal cord further is resp uh, responsible for promotion of inflammatory responses. When there is pro it, uh, first order neuron stimulates the pro and promotes inflammatory responses, there is uh, it also promotes inflammation and this is it results in appearance of fever, pain and inflammations. Now this is the basic mechanism that is when an injury occurs, the lipids and phospholipids of the particular uh, cell where the injury has been occurred is converted into arachidonic acid. This arachidonic acid in the presence of cyclooxygenase first and in cases of stress and trauma in the presence of cyclooxygenase second is converted into PGS2 that is prostaglandin S2. This prostaglandin S2 is further converted into uh, prostaglandin E2 and F2 which binds with the specific uh, specific receptors and results in depolarization and further generation of action potential to the first order neuron where there is stimulation of first order neurons results in promotes results and promotes inflammatory responses which further results in appearance of fever pain and inflammation in inflammation like responses this is the basic mechanism of prostaglandins now what the NSAIDs do the NSAIDs basically inhibits the enzyme cyclooxygenase first and cyclooxygenase second either selectively or non-selectively which prevents the conversion of arachidonic acid into prostaglandin S2. Here arachidonic acid that is that is formed from the uh, lipid and phospholipids of the particular cells where the injury has been occurred. Thus this uh, anacids prevents the conversion of arachidonic acid into prostaglandin S2 and further the process is stopped that is also called inhibition of generation of prostaglandins which ultimately leads to its beneficial actions that is analgesia that is uh, prevention of pain nerve ending sensitization antipyresis anti-inflammatory anti-thrombotic as well as closure of ductus arterios in newborn babies etc so th this is the basic mechanism of NSAIDs, I hope you would like this.